It was a nice morning. It was a little chilly, beautiful, you know. I remember my wife caught me before I got on my bike and said, hey, you forgot the zucchini bread. And then she put two loaves of zucchini bread in my bag and I got on my bike and that's the last thing I remember till 15 days later when I woke up. One of the other employees said that there was a motorcycle accident right down the street. Chris's boss got in her car and ran down there to see because she noticed that Chris hadn't gotten to work yet and he always got there early. So she took a ride down there and saw that it was his boots on the ground, his motorcycle. The police officer, he told her that they were sending him to Morgantown Hospital, WVU. I didn't know his condition and I was thinking maybe just a, um, a broken leg or something because they didn't life flight him. Mr. Bertucli was a priority one activation for our trauma team, which is the highest level of activation. He was awake and alert enough to talk to us, but when we were trying to figure out what his blood pressure actually was, we were having a really surprisingly hard time getting that blood pressure, um, and then that was compounded by his slow decrease in his heart rate, which is a very severe marker of injury. The two halves of the pelvis are separated in such a manner that they've ruptured some of the blood vessels in, his, uh, in the back of his uh, pelvis and causes him, causing him to bleed out. They took me down to the emergency room. They came out and gave me his belongings and said that he, didn't, he wasn't going to make it, that he was passing, that they couldn't get the, the blood to stop, and then his heart stopped. I just had the feeling that that wasn't it. And a lady came right, rushing out to say that they got a heartbeat, that the pressure got back up. And then uh, Dr. Knight came to me and said that we have to do this Reboa uh, procedure um, was his only chance of survival. So of course, said do it. We'd elected to perform a relatively novel technique called a reboa, and that's resuscitative endovascular balloon occlusion of the aorta. It worked. It was the first one Dr. Knight had told me to actually be a success. He had like 15 surgeries in 12 days. They, at first, the first couple days, kept reminding me that he might not make it. We really don't think you're grasping what's going on, you know. And I said, I do. My faith is just that strong. And I got my answer from the Lord. So I knew he had the best experts working on him. He's basically broken from the neck down, so. But there were so many pieces of equipment around him that I couldn't get close to him even if I tried. You know, just thinking, my gosh, he made it through all of these surgeries. What kind of quality of life is he gonna have? How long is it gonna take him to recover? And is he gonna walk again? Is he gonna be Chris again? He's like the miracle man. I, I push my recovery every day. Sometimes it hurts, but you just gotta push through the pain. I've done enough therapy to know when it hurts, do a couple more. I couldn't have asked the Lord for a better set of people to work on my husband. Today's our 25th wedding anniversary, and I got another, hopefully, 25 more. We wouldn't be here without them. Exactly. And their caring and their love showed me that Chris was going to get better because he really had the best care.